who's really had a great game today, up this game, great diagonal ball, and Colin Fenley, you know, he's so strong, great, great one possession ball bounced up, caught it first time and laid off a lovely little hand pass to Owen Larkin, bursting through and just dragged down by Paul Corn and I think it's only a 21, just outside the maybe a large parallelogram. I think it's just a 21 yard free, and Henry will tap it up. 20 metre free for Henry Shetland, and he drives it well beyond hill 16 as well. I well, didn't tap it over, but <laughs> tapped it over the hill. They have a lovely little hand pass there with Colin Fenley, and you know, Paul, Paul Corn had no choice really. Loose ball again, eh? Eh? Fogarty chases after it. Paul Murphy is there too. He's the right corner back. And uh, <laughs> playing now almost in midfield. Fine catch by Paul Curry. He continues to give it everything. Well, you mentioned the tip to Kilkenny backs, Marty. They've never deviated from the plan. From the start of the game, Paul Murphy has picked up Noel McGrath. Tommy has picked up Tab Burke. Uh, Brian Hogan has picked up Bonner Maher and uh, so on, so on. Jackie Hurley has been on Lara Corbett and JJ Lane has been on John O'Brien. They haven't changed since the start of the game. Pa uh, Burke dropping this one in. And Lara Corbett was near it but uh, didn't get a touch. Ball is wide. But Cyril Farrell made a point at half time, Michael, about he, he thought that possibly the fittest team would win this semi final and certainly Kilkenny have showed. Well, both teams are very fit. Now, that's, yeah, uh, I don't think that's an issue. It's, but a lot of fitness comes from determination and from drive and heart, and uh, Kilkenny have shown more of that. There's no question about that. They've given it everything. Ten minutes since uh, Tipperary scored in this All Ireland semi final. And it's Kilkenny have really stepped up a gear. Porig Ma, Tommy Walsh. This is the old flamboyant Tommy Walsh, and the cheer from the Kilkenny supporters says, Welcome back to four. Owen Larkin, great catch on the turn. What about the finish? It's wide. 56 minutes played, and Kilkenny very much in control now. Ball comes down towards Paddy Stapleton, quick puck out from Brendan Cummins. And that's going to be a free for Tipperary. Yeah, and Kieran Joyce, you know, another player who had a super, has had a very, very solid, a big call to leave off Richard Isle, who's been very good all year for them, but I think Brian Cody just went for more physical strength and power, and it's really worked out for them. Ball well, breaks JJ Delaney, and back him up as usual. Little touch by Aidan Fogarty, tries to get away from Paddy Stapleton. Stapleton without a hurl. Oh, Larkin with a hurl, picks it up nicely, and there's more trouble for Tipperary. TJ Reid coming in, lovely jink inside, a rasper! Truly magnificent team to respond to the challenge. Yeah, TJ Reid stepping inside and an absolute yeah. rocket. Yeah, Michael Cahill lunged in and uh, I think Paul Corner, you could see a hurl coming through there. Paul Corner through the hurl as well, lucky to be still on the field just after getting the yellow card. But Marty, I think you're right. I think once again, you know, you know, we, I didn't write off the team, but just sort of thought on the balance of power the tip maybe should be improving coming to this match. Thought that the momentum was with them and, you know, questioned them again. And losing Richie Hogan, Eddie Brennan gone, Michael Cavner retired, lads like that, and Michael Rice gone off injured today. And what a performance again! Like they're just, you know, we, we've said it so many times, the greatest team of all time. But you know, what, a, what can we say? Another absolutely brilliant performance today. And what a manager, Brian Cody, in his 14th year in charge, once again spreading the Cody magic, sprinkling it, and they have responded. They were quite in Kilkenny when I was down there yesterday for the All Ireland Camogie semi finals. Oh boy, what a response. Yeah, yeah see Michael Cahill bought the dummy and a great goal. Puck out from Brendan Cummins. Pulled down by JJ Delaney. John O'Brien is there, so too is Aidan Fogarty. Really played well. Brendan Maher and Tommy Walsh. Up into the air. Short little grip. Comes first, TJ Reid. Backs it out for his Aidan Fogarty, who have tormented Tipperary. Fogarty's shot just dropping a little bit short. Brendan Cummins looks around at various options, and there aren't many for the Munster champions. Patrick Bonnermar unable to control. Goes forward for his Killian Buckley. Buckley drives it long and plays it simple. Down towards Owen Larkin and Richie Parr. 
coming out towards Aidan Fogarty. Staying goal side is Paddy Stapleton. Fogarty looks back out first, TJ Reid. Trying that little jink again and then flings it high. Oh my word, it drops over the bar with a little bit of help from Brendan Cummins. But TJ Reid, what a magnificent point. That's an unbelievable score, Marty. <laughs> You know, what a game. And I'm sure, you know, some players, you know, th things don't go for them when they start, maybe over the years. And TJ Reid has come on and made massive contributions over the years. He's a brilliant hurler, brilliant in the air. But today, from the very, very start, he's been so crucial to this Kilkenny uh, game plan. And that's an absolutely brilliant point by TJ. Paul Curran has gone off for Tipperary and done a mark and Burgess is in. And Kilkenny, such great fielders. Like Brian Hogan. First touch is magnificent. Michael Fenley, short grip, steps away, the umpires look, and the ball is wide. 4-19 Kilkenny, 1-13 Tipperary, who would think it? And considering that the teams were level eight times, but the Kilkenny determination, spirit, is unquenchable. And here comes Tommy, wee Tommy, full of fire, full of energy, laying it off as Colin Fenley. Stepping away from the challenge as Kilkenny now exhibit all their magnificent skills and this ball unfortunately for Finley is left in wide. They've shot by the way just seven wides in this game and they've registered 4-19. 3-10, three goals and ten points in the second half for the Kilkenny Cats. Just three points for Tipperary. What, what an awesome second half. Yeah, what a catch there by JJ Delaney, an absolutely brilliant catch. And Brian Hogan, I think, has caught about six puck outs clean as well. Boric Barr being fouled by Richie Power, free for Tipperary. To be honest with you, it's well beyond the Munster champions at this stage. Loose breaking ball picked up by Tommy Walsh. And all the side shows and all the game plans that were going on are now null and void. Irrelevant. Ooh. Oh dear, Corey Mar. That is a red card offence, and I have no doubt that Paul McAllister, who saw it just as clearly as we did, will take aside Corey Mar and will show him a red card here. It's pure frustration, but a very, very wild swing. And in fairness to TJ Reid, made not of it, but it's very hard to see anything else. Let's just see what the decision of the referee is, because he's saying, "Let's keep it calm." He's first taking the name of Corey Mar. To be honest with you, it is the second wild pull out of Porik Mar, and it's just a yellow card. Well, I have to be honest, I really am surprised at that. Well, it, you know, just looking at it initially, comes right around here. He missed him, that's about all you can say. He pulled a wild stroke, if he'd made contact, uh, you know. It was a very, very dangerous pull, and um, he didn't, he didn't connect. But I, you know, the rule is it should be a red card. Henry Shefflin there with a point. But just watch this again. And it was I, a pull. No, yeah, he like got, got him on the shoulder. It was a wild stroke, and TJ Reid never made anything of it. But you know, it, it's to strike or attempt to strike or attempt to strike with the hurl is a is a red card, and uh, uh, Tariq Maher very, very lucky. No doubt, Tariq Maher should be gone off. To be honest with you, and uh, John O'Brien. He's going off, and it has been a very tough week for him indeed. And again, we express our sympathies to the O'Brien family, and a huge round of applause for John O'Brien. As Michael Dykman said, really, it's been a terrible week, and he's, uh, he's done well to be here. So, Tipperary bring in substitute John O'Neill into the team instead of John O'Brien. Lara Corbett going forward here, JJ Delaney. Nicely knocked, knocked back by Patrick uh, Bonamar. Lovely hand pass by Larry Corbett, and the ball is into the side netting and wide. But lovely play by Tipperary, and particularly by Larry Corbett, with a really slick back pass. But uh, unfortunately for John O'Neill, side netting. So Kilkenny are going to introduce not one, not two, but three substitutes. Doyle is on as well, and he normally plays. Richard Doyle is on, yeah, for Paul Murphy, and Colin Fenley gone off as well there, Marty. Uh, Matthew Root gone on corner forward for him. Great opportunity to give lads a run now with 
eight or nine minutes to go and you're sure you're testing the final and double scores. Hard to believe, Marty just said it. I just can't believe it. I thought it would go down to the wire today and it's just a huge performance by Kilkenny again. And just to go back to that Leinster final, Marty, you know, sometimes when you're on the road so long, Kilkenny needed that motivation. That, you know, Galway played brilliantly on the day. Kilkenny were well beaten, kind of no complaints, but it was a great way to go back to the following week and say, lads, you know, are we going to finish up like this? And you know, the players have responded magnificently. And I believe the meeting they had on the Monday night, Brian Cody took a lot of personal responsibility, uh, spoke to the players about, you know, maybe playing with bits of injuries and all that, didn't want it. And unless you were fit to play with your club, unless you were fit to come in and train, and he didn't want you in there. And uh, a lot of straight talking was done, and you can see the result of it here today. Great men back to the very best. Very impressive performance by Kenny and Tommy Walsh. Plays it back first, Brian Hogan gives it to Michael Finnelly. Brendan Marr was the number eight coming into challenge. Picked up by John O'Neill. And that's a point for Tipperary. And for John O'Neill. Five minutes left in this All Ireland semi final. And all you can say, look back in awe almost the way Kilkenny displayed all their hurling skills in this second half. Unstoppable. Brendan Maher is going off. James Woodlock is on in the middle of the field. Yeah, Tip, what have you got? Four points in the second half, Marty. Uh, they're starting forward, and Parbor got a goal from play. Bonner Maher didn't score. Larry Corbett didn't score. Brian O'Mara didn't score. John O'Brien got one point, and Noel McGrath got two points. And, you know, that's not going to be enough uh, against a team like Kilkenny. TJ Reid is 2-2. Owen Larkin a goal. Fogarty has 1-3. And, you know, the work rate... Uh, Fenley and Rice a point each, Killian Buckley a point from play, you know, and the spread of scores and it, it's just there's no comparison right across the, the two teams. Supporters, as you just saw, just leaving some of them disappointed, heartbroken with the display of Tipperary, particularly in the second half. And by the way, John O'Neill's point, that was their first score in four, since the 46th minute as Henry Shefflin adds on another. Well, you can start looking for your tickets for the All-Ireland Hurling Final on the 9th of September between Kilkenny and Galway and a repeat of the Leinster Ireland final. And Kilkenny introduce another substitute. Looks like Connor Fogarty is coming on. And uh, going off is Aidan Fogarty. Yeah, Connor Fogarty's gone on midfield and Killing Buckley gone into left half forward. David Herity coming out to uh, take this free outside his own 45 metre line. Drops this in around the square. Henry Sheffin gets a touch, Brendan Cummins. Relieves the pressure momentarily. Had a touch. Richie Parr had the vision. Brian Hogan has the effort. And the score. Brilliant hurling by Kilkenny. Now there's a sequence of play that could be shown to young lads. Yeah, great ball all out over there. the country. But Brian Hogan has had some game. You know, like he was missing <coughs> he was missing the last day he was injured. Uh, just back trend in the last uh, ten days or so, and what a performance he's given today. It's completely taken Bonnermar out of the game, who's been the key man for Tipperary this year. Ball goes down towards Owen Larkin. Lays it off first TJ Reid. Was afraid the referee saw the infringement. And of course coming up tonight, the Sunday game at 9.30 on RT2. You can see highlights of this All-Ireland semi-final and plenty of talking points. And a look ahead, of course, to the first of the All-Ireland football semi-finals as well. Yellow card for Conor O'Mahony. As frustration takes hold here. Challenge on TJ Reid 